As we go into this fall's calving season, I thought it'd be a good idea to remind producers as well as uh, family members or uh, hired hands that would be looking at cows or heifers during the calving season, that we remind them of the three stages of the calving process. Because if we understand normal, then we're better and more likely to pick out those that uh, have something going wrong and we need to provide some assistance. The first stage of calving uh, is one that might uh, miss our attention as we're looking at cows and heifers because that first stage of calving, the primary thing that's happening is the dilation of the cervix. And uh, what we may see while we're observing cattle closely is just a little difference in behavior of the cow or the heifer perhaps uh, the one that begins to separate herself from the rest of the herd looking for a place to, to lie down. This stage of calving is quite variable. It has been known to be as short as only about four hours, may last as long as 24 hours. The second stage of calving is where all the action is. That's the one where we have the actual delivery of the calf. Stage two begins as we first see the appearance of a water bag. But in a lot of cases, what we'll find first as we're observing these cattle is the, the appearance of the baby calf's feet. Stage two isn't over until that calf is completely delivered. And we'll remind you once again that on the average, that should occur in about one hour's time in a two-year-old heifer having her first calf and about 30 minutes time in an adult cow that's had calves before. So if we're observing these cattle, and after an hour's time, that first calf heifer isn't making real progress, or the adult cow isn't making real progress after 30 minutes, then we probably need to go ahead and get her up and examine her, provide assistance if we can. If we're incapable of providing assistance, then we need to call our local veterinarian quickly so that we can save both the cow and the calf. The third stage of calving is the cleaning of the afterbirth the release of the placenta. And this generally should take place in eight to 12 hours after calving. After that period of time, it's considered a retained placenta. That's the point where I would encourage producers to number one, don't manually remove that placenta. You can cause more damage than good. Keep a close eye on that cow or heifer. If she shows any signs of infection, droopy ears, being a little lethargic, then we probably want to contact our local veterinarian for treatment of that uh, retained placenta because there's probably an infection setting in. If you'd like to learn more about working with these cows and heifers at calving time, I encourage you to go to the SUNUP website. Remember that's sunup.okstate.edu. And there's a link under show links to the publication called Calving Time Management for Beef Cows and Heifers. Great publication that will give you a lot of information about working with these cattle during the calving season. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SUNUP's Cow-Calf Corner.